Uh, this is it, see? This is the exact angle. I think it was from farther back. And with a wide angle lens that I don't have, unfortunately. That was the angle. So the stage would have been right. Gee, right next to that road. Was that road here then? Probably. Yeah. See, they're still coming. You know, it ain't over. They're still coming. They'll come. They were coming before I got here, and they'll keep on coming, you know, because this is Woodstock. And I don't know who that is. Might be good. Not, yeah. I can roll this all down now, but just pull in one rope and let it happen, you know. I don't know who tied this extra string on the other. I'm not sloppy enough to leave a string hanging that way. And the wind has loosened all my rigging ropes. See, and I've got to retighten after every good wind storm. Thank God for bungee cords. Yeah. So what do you think about dog fights? Dog fighting? Yeah. I don't approve of it. Yeah. Some of my best friend, friends are bulldog fighters. I don't diss. I don't. Huh. Different strokes for different folks. They each his own, you know. <laughs> uh, but dog fighting is not one of mine. Uh, I, you know, see picture of my big dog, Al Capone? Yeah. After he tore, after they turned one of the highest rated bulldogs in the United States over, loose on him while he was tied, he raised in the air, dog named Budweiser. Out of 43 fights, he had stopped 42 of the dogs. Stopping means win by killing or the other dog quit fighting. At that time, the dog fight stopped, whether the dog's dead or not. But out of 43 fights, he stopped 42 out of 43 dogs. Got stopped one time. But when he turned him loose on Al Capone, supposedly accidentally, and Al Capone was on leash and, and control uh -huh. harness, yeah. Al raised in the air grabbed the top of his head, reared up, and shook him just like a rag doll, and ruined his neck to where, for three months later, he walked around with his head swollen enormously, his neck twisted over its side like this, and he died. Yeah. And the bulldog fighters offered me from two to five hundred dollars a piece to breed their bitch dogs with my dog. I didn't even have enough money in my pocket to buy a pack of cigarettes. But I don't need money bad enough to breed dogs for fighting. And so I told them, no, I don't need your money. <coughs> mm -mm, not none of Al's kids. He's my partner. Me and dogs have a different relationship, a lot closer than me and most people ever get. Well, how's that? They're... Hmm. They have more of a feeling about life and what's right and what's wrong than most people do. Me and four-legged dogs, we a whole lot of life. <laughs> I think I just got two more legs than I do, about the only difference. I speak a different language, but I understand what they try. They want me to understand. Hmm. Hmm. After this wet weather, whenever your house is, is, this is my home, this is my house. And after this wet weather, it's damp, muddy, mucky. That way I tear down, let everything air back out. 
It might have about 30 minutes I can cover all this back end and even better than it was, tighter than it was before. You know? That's just... <laughs> and on the back of our dollar bill, it says, still says, in God we trust. Bullshit. That's a who. Uh, they trust in that dollar itself. <laughs> It's the he, monetary the golden rule nowadays is he who has the gold has the rule, you know. And uh, that's the game we're playing with the shit. Well, when, when, when one brother gets in trouble, the whole family comes around, and that's what's going to happen. We're going to have more well, people here like today. Yeah, here, brother, here's your traffic. <laughs> well, um, what, now, you got a ticket for what? Um, for trespassing. We were told that we're on the land illegally. The lady here who owns it doesn't want us here. You leaving? Uh, I'm not leaving. Well, we, I'm staying. You gotta do this. Anyway, this is the doghouse, and Road Dog, Road Dog has rigged this house, and this is an important lesson for people to think it takes big money for the homeless and all this stuff. The fact of the matter is, we wouldn't have any homeless if people were not making legislations and regulations for the benefit of their industries. Oh and not for the benefit of the people. People know how to live. But there are big money folks that don't want people to think they could do anything without them. So uh, essentially, this is, a, this is our living museum that we're establishing here. That was a dream of Bill Lubinsky, who helped promote the first festival. He was a partner with Michael Wang. And it's a dream of people from Sullivan County it's a dream of people that have visited here over the years. So I'm, I'm I, Road Dog is going to leave this doghouse uh, up, you know, as an example of a do-it-yourself rainbow architecture. And the other uh, information center in uh, the uh, Confusion State is going to be maintained as a 24-hour coffee house. So, hi, welcome to. Uh confusion state highway um this new highway is going to be erected but uh, as as we hear it now uh it's a new nation and we don't have any construction crews but uh we did have a really big concert here this year second re big reunion since 1969. uh by the way i'll show you around the kitchen here we have uh the spare strange uh things that are picked up in the uh, condoms and uh things like that we, uh, in the lost and found, we happened to find uh, somebody's wallet. Um, if you happen to see Officer Dick Tracy, he was here too. Um, we have his wallet, uh, there's no money in it. One of the hippies probably stole it. Uh, his handcuffs are missing too, but his detective kid is here. That is half lab and half English setter. You got them field of him. He ain't no, it's cause he's slim and everything. Don't mean he's a weakling. Go feel that dog. Mm -hmm. That dog ain't nothing but a walking, moving muscle. Just, he can get serious. Too. He don't like uniformed cops because he hears their loud talk and their by God swear, you know, do this, do that. <laughs> and he don't like uniformed cops. They don't, and you know, the ones that walk up with an attitude like a uniform cops, a lot of them do, you know? Yeah. Some of them are police officers. I got a lot of respect for them. Some of them are pigs. They're out there with no intention to being anything but a chicken shit, you know? I mean, uh, <laughs> that's their mission in life, yeah. it seems to me. Their goal is to see how big a chicken shit they can be. Oh, there's some fine police officers across the country. I've got a lot of respect for them. But they're, like I say, there's chicken shits in every crowd. Like you ask me, uh, all rainbow people feel that way. You do know they ain't all, uh-uh, there's chicken shits in every crowd. Asshole.
I already got a ticket from you guys. We're going to see you on the 29th. And, you know, we have our own charges. We are here by easement, by prescription.